from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, July the 23rd, 2024. Intense fighting continues between Israeli troops and terror group Hamas in Gaza. And the IDF today gave an update from an operation in Khan Yunis saying that during the last 24 hours, Israeli forces are operating above and below ground in the Khan Yunis region, eliminating terrorists and destroying terrorist infrastructure. The IDF also noted that last night it identified a number of missiles fired by Hamas from central Gaza at southern Israel, saying they fell short and landed within the territory of the Gaza Strip, including one rocket which hit a school in the Nusirat area in central Gaza. The IDF saying Hamas regularly violates international law while systematically exploiting civilian buildings and the civilian population as human shields for terrorist actions against the state of Israel. Rockets continue to be fired at northern Israel by terror group Hezbollah from Lebanon. Today, dozens targeting the Galilee. Many were intercepted by the Iron Dome, though some did make landfall sparking fires. But no injuries were reported. The IDF responded to the rocket fire using artillery and the Air Force, hitting terrorist targets, including a vehicle carrying terrorists from Hezbollah. Also, an airstrike on a terrorist after he was spotted leaving the area from which the launches into the Galilee were carried out. The IDF also successfully intercepted a hostile aircraft from Lebanon last night. IDF forces launched a targeted counter-terrorism operation in Tulkarim in the West Bank last night, where it said it hit a number of armed terrorists in an exchange of fire. During the operation, it said a manned aircraft remotely attacked terrorists from the terrorist organizations in the area, including those wanted for promoting and carrying out terrorist acts against the IDF and the State of Israel. Later saying the terrorists who were eliminated included the commander of the military wing of Hamas in Tulkarim, and an operative in the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade's terror group. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife Sarah Netanyahu's first meeting in Washington today was with representatives of the families of the hostages who are in D.C. Netanyahu told the families of the hostages who have now been held in Hamas captivity in Gaza for 291 days We are determined to return them all. The conditions for returning them are becoming ripe for the simple reason that we are putting very strong pressure on Hamas. The prime minister telling the families not to lose hope. The family representatives of the eight American Israeli hostages in Gaza who met with Netanyahu said that during this meeting, the families emphatically told Netanyahu that their loved ones cannot wait any longer and that he must close the deal now. Netanyahu is in D.C. to address Congress tomorrow, Wednesday. The Times of Israel cited U.S. President Joe Biden saying that he would continue to work towards a deal between Israel and Hamas in his time left in office citing a call into his campaign headquarters saying, I'll be working very closely with the Israelis and with the Palestinians to try to work out how we can get the Gaza war to end and Middle East peace and get all those hostages home. The president is expected to meet with the Israeli prime minister on Thursday. According to reports, Netanyahu's schedule for tomorrow, Wednesday, will include a memorial service for U.S. Senator Joe Lieberman at 10 a.m. local time, after which he will head to the Capitol to meet with U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson, as well as with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and other congressional leaders and officials. And as noted, he will then begin his speech to a joint session of Congress at 2 p.m. local time. We will broadcast that address live here on JBS, 2 p.m. Eastern Time.
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, July the 23rd. At 7 o'clock, former head of the Anti-Defamation League, Abe Foxman, joins Charles Small and David Harris on the ISGAP Hour. Then it's Jewish Insights with Justin Pines featuring Kabbalist Rabbi David Aaron. At 9, Alan Fagan is on L'Chaim at 10.30, a replay of the news. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, July the 23rd, 2024. I'm Tisha Bader. Am Yisrael Chaim.